let's see how we can use the tiny mesh protocol to control a dimmer output uh, that is a pulse width modulated output. GPIO number 7 of the module has this functionality and by enabling the PWM functionality on GPIO number 7 we can send a percentage dimming command to the module and thereby change the duty cycle of the signal coming out on PWM7 on, on GPIO7 and use that for dimming a light or controlling anything else that needs uh, or can accept the PWM input. So let's see how we do this. First we need to configure uh, the GPIO7 for working as a PWM output. And to do this let's first configure the module we enter configure mode, press the configure button, we receive the config prompt, we read back the config memory, and we scroll down to the function setting for GPIO number 7. GPIO number 7 was preset as digital output. Let's set it for PWM, which is function number 3. 3 configure and exit config mode. So now we have a module that is configured for pulse width modulated output on GPIO number 7. And as we start off the dimming is set at zero percentage so let's see what happens if we change the dimming here. Now this is an LED that we have connected to the GPIO7 and since the LED is very unlinear in its uh, characteristics we have to do uh, a very heavy uh, dimming before we can see any effects. So let's try to send a command to just dim the light by 80% and see what happens. So the command structure is what we've seen earlier. 10 is the length of the command string. 3000 is the unit, unique identity of the router that we're communicating with. Then we have the user selectable command number. Let's try command number 4. 3 indicates that it's indeed a command. And 2 indicates it's a dimming command. 80 in decimal is now the dimming percentage that we're trying to send to this device. Okay, let's send the command. Before we do that, let's just clear the receive windows on the two terminal emulators such that we can see what we're actually receiving. Now I'm going to send the command. And we see that the light dims and that we receive an acknowledge from the device. Uh, the acknowledge now has command number 4 as part of the packet. So we can see that yes, it was indeed command number 4 that was acknowledged by the device. So that's how simple it is to send a dim command. Let's just, for the fun of it, send another dim command. Let's now dim it to 100%, uh, which should indeed turn off the device totally. And as we see, when I send the command, the lamp, lamp goes out. Then let's end off everything by sending it back again to total on, no dimming, 0%, and the lamp turns on. So this is how simple it is to send a dimming command to a tiny mesh device, uh, which is a very simple way of controlling uh, either a dimmable lamp or uh, something that, that can accept a PWM uh, input. And this may of course be used in streetlight applications uh, or any other dimming or remote control PWM application.